All right, today we are diving in deep. Rewrite the program. If you don't like the way your life is unfolding, I don't care what area, all areas, whatever it is, if you don't like your perspective on the world, if you don't like what's happening in your current reality, if you're ready to change, rewrite the story. That is all you have to do is rewrite the program. Just because what's been programmed in you doesn't mean it has to keep being. So stay tuned. We're going to dive in deep into this. Hey, everyone. My name is Kim Velez. I am a conscious life and success coach, former trauma therapist where I worked with people for well over a decade. Woo, just some amazing shit that I was able to do. And I really like am just love that I have my purpose and that I figured it out and that I remastered myself. I like that remastered, right? <laughs> Into evolving and growing and really internalizing these spiritual concepts and becoming a better version of myself every day, which then my 3D reality just continues to expand and grow with me as I am expanding and growing. And that's what my channel is all about. It's really to help you overcome the biggest hurdles in you that make you believe and think that you can't get what you want in life. We're here to have it all. We're not here to play small in life. We're here to know our worth and value. Most of us were not programmed that we are worthy and incredible, especially especially self-concept and love, but self-concept and money, health. I mean, all of it, right? We're here to have it all. I'm here to have it all. I didn't know a lot of my life that I probably could have it all. And then when I became awakened to all of this, I made the decision consciously, no, I am going to have it all. So we have two parts of the brain. We have the conscious thinking mind. We have the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is where the habits have been formated and the programs are playing out automatically. So when you have to interrupt the record that's playing on its own and choose a different record and you manually have to do this over and over until you've reprogrammed your mind with the new story. So whatever you don't like, stop going outside of you and demanding that it change. I don't know if you can hear the uh, leaf blowers outside, but you have to stop going outside of you and demanding other people to show up different and demanding circumstances to mirror something back different from you. And then because, let me say because rather than then, because you don't know that whatever it is you want to feel, whatever it is you want to know about yourself, you don't know it as a fact for you, which is why you seek it outside of you. Do you understand you are the solution? You are your solution. And it is not about going outside of us and getting people to be different in order for us to know these things. It's I have to go within me because I'm projecting a story on a specific person that says, they don't want me there this way because I don't know that I'm worthy to fucking get what I want from them. So then I have to, my perception of them has to fucking match that perception of myself because it's basically your perception of you. You're dumping onto them. <laughs> you're wanting them to show you that you're so amazing and incredible, but you don't fucking know that you are intellectually. Somebody will say, yeah, no, I know I do, but no, you don't because you're still accepting breadcrumbs. You still are placating. You still are needing constant validation. You still are chasing love. You still are accepting versions of people in your life that fucking suck. That's not somebody who knows their worth and value. That's somebody who intellectually says, I want to know my worth and value, but you're not being someone who does. So when, when the program is in you, that is not desirable, rewrite the program. So who do I want to be instead? Okay. I want to know my worth and value. What does that look like? If I want to know someone, if I want to be rich, if I want to be wealthy, right? Well then who's that version of me? Oh, she doesn't fucking, um, avoid paying her credit card bills. I used to do that many fucking years ago. I would have stacks of fucking credit card bills. And I literally would pay a dollar over the minimum. I just avoided it. And this is before I knew law of assumption or anything like that. We're talking like 15 years ago. I literally would have them stacked up and I would just say, let me just pay the dollar amount. Cause I couldn't, I didn't like how I felt because my story was, I have this lingering debt and it's heavy and it made me feel bad. So I avoided it. And then what I did was just pay the the minimum, but I stayed in debt for a long time. And it wasn't until I faced the debt. So how did I do that? Well, I decided, you know what? Fuck this. I don't need to be in debt. So I'm going to come up with a plan 
and know that I can pay this off somehow, some way. And so that's what I did. So I opened up the fucking credit cards and I ended up transferring my credit cards to zero interest and I paid it all off in like less than, I don't even know, so long ago, like a year or something. But the point was, is I made a decision internally in me and then there was different habits and actions I took in my 3D based off that decision. So then I manifested this new version of me that had a new story about debt that didn't avoid it and fucking changed it internally. I alchemized it. I no longer lived in fear of it. I no longer avoided it because it didn't feel good. I took control of internally, showed up differently in my reality and the debt went poof, bye-bye, right? So we do this in so many ways. So many people have this negative story about money and they're like, yeah, but I'm affirming. Yeah, but you're not different yet, babes. Like I get, you have to keep doing it until you have, you alchemize it within you. If you show up fucking feeling broken, anxious every day. And every time you grocery shop or pay gas or want to spend money on just even like living expenses that you need, not even desires. Right. And you have a knot and a pit in your fucking stomach you haven't alchemized the programming that's in your subconscious mind yet. So you keep rewriting the program until it's your new program. I mean, literally that's how you, repetition is how you reprogram the mind. It's not doing something once or twice. Those things work when we don't have a belief in us that we're carrying around all day that says the complete opposite. So this is, this is what we do. This is why we do it. This is how you do it. And this is how you rewrite the program. You get to decide what the program is going to be. And you say these things over and over until you know and believe something. And every time you're triggered, you go within and you do the inner work. You are your solution. You are your solution. You are your fucking solution. SP is not your solution. Your mother and father is not your solution. Your kid is not your solution. The fucking bank is not your solution. Your boss is not your solution. You are your solution. What the fuck do you want? change the story of you in relation to it, change the story of it, persist in that, think differently, be differently, act differently, and trust differently, and you will get what you want. Garen fucking teed. I love you all. I'll see you. You want to work with me live to have these deep concepts broken down in ways that are easy and make sense and actually get you results, then I would love for you to check out my new coaching group with Maritza. It's Striking Brilliance. Link is below. I'll see you soon. Bye.